Atletico Madrid will travel to the Santiago Bernabeu to take on Real Sunday. Diego Simón's side is currently second in La Liga, four points ahead of Real Madrid. Real, on the other hand, would want to close the gap to a point, which could provide Los Blancos with an opportunity to finish higher in the Liga table. Photo by Quality Sport Images Getty Images Real Madrid is on a horrible run in La Liga at home against Simón's men. In the last four games at home, Real have lost three and drew last year when Antoine Griezmann leveled late on. On Sunday, the Roger Blancos will be extra motivated to keep their unbeaten run at the Bernabeu going. If Atletico lose, they could bid goodbye to their hopes to win the league this. However, if Real Madrid was to win, they will effectively gift the title to Barcelona. Atletico Madrid is having a brilliant on the domestic front. Every piece of news has concentrated on how Barcelona are undefeated this or how Real are languishing behind the league leader by a massive gap. Silently, Atletico has maintained their second spot and have lost just three games. Two of those losses have come in the last four games. Having said that, Atletico have conceded the least amount of goals in the league. As a result, Real will have to be on top of their game to make sure they secure all three points against the Roger Blancos. Page 2 MADRID, Spain, April 5, head coach Diego Simuán of Atletico Madrid looks on during the UEFA Europa League quarter-final leg one match between Atletico Madrid and Sporting CP at Wanda Metropolitano on April 5, 2018 in Madrid, Spain. Photo by Etsu O'Hara, Getty Images Atletico will be without the services of defender Felipe Luis, who is nursing a fractured shin bone. Also doubtful are Semi Vasalco and Jose Maria Jimenez, who are also injured. The rest of the squad is available for selection. More from the real Shons going by what Simon has been doing this Atletico will line up a 4 4 2. Jan Oblak in goal, Juan Fran, Stefan Savic, Diego Godin, and Lucas Hernandez in defence with Sol, Gabi, Thomas Partey, and Koke the midfield quartet. Antoine Griezmann, along with Diego Costa, will be the two man strike force. The biggest reasons why Atletico concede so few goals are because of their defensive prowess and effective pressing as a unit. Ever since Simon took charge of Atleti, they've been a reference model in how to defend as a unit and keep a compact shape out of possession. They approach the game with a very compact structure horizontally and vertically, which makes it hard for the opposition to find spaces. To prevent building from the back, Atleti press high with their strikers and midfielders in man-orientated pressing schemes. The focus is to force oppositions wider to lure them into risky passes into central areas, thanks to effective pressing scheme. In possession, Atletico often attack with close distances between their players. The midfield plays in a compact structure which draws opposing players in field to allow space for the wing-backs to advance. The strikers look to work in combinations, where one plays as in an advanced position and the other drops back. Atletico do not score a lot of goals and probably will sit deep to allow Real to have all the possession and look to hit Real Madrid on the counter. Page 3 photo by Gonzalo Arroyo Marino, Getty images much like Cristiano Ronaldo, striker Antoine Griezmann had a torrid start to the campaign. However, the diminutive French forward has found his scoring boots since the turn of the year. He has scored 12 goals in the last 10 games in all competitions and is on course to better his own tally from last. Grease has formed a formidable partnership with fellow striker Diego Costa. With exit rumours surrounding him, it could prove to be his last Madrid derby for Los Roger Blancos. Diego Costa after a falling out with Chelsea's manager Antonio Conte last, Diego Costa was relegated from the Chelsea squad. In his pursuit of a new home, Diego Costa got an opportunity to rejoin Atletico Madrid. Due to Atletico's transfer ban, Costa had to stay away from playing competitive football for half a it was only in January when Costa finally got his opportunity to play for Atleti against Lieda Esport 2 in Copa del Rey. Costa has been a key force in Griezmann's return of form. His physical presence has distracted defenders from the Frenchman, which allows him to exploit available space. He has already scored three goals in his short time back. The derby on Sunday will be Costa's eighth derby of his career. His duels with Sergio Ramos have been legendary and so was his last goal in the derby which he led Atletico to a win four years ago. He will be a thorn for Real Madrid's defence and might need a dedicated camera on him. Jan Oblak Jan Oblak is one of the most important reasons why Atletico are solid defensive record. 
Oblak has registered his name among the best goalkeepers in the world right now and probably the best in La Liga. He has super reflexes and is extremely comfortable with long shots as well as shots within the box. The Slovenian has already kept 19 clean sheets and has the lowest average goals conceded per game in La Liga with 0.47 per game. The only blemish in his sterling reputation is his ball distribution, which can be misplaced at times. Real Madrid will have to be very efficient in front of the goal if they wish to win this game. Real Madrid has been so par in La Liga this and has lost numerous points in front of the home fans. If anything, Mangers in Adin Zidane and his men owe a spectacular show to the Bernabeu what better than an Atletico thrashing. Stay tuned to the Real Shams for more Madrid derby coverage.